Good morning, day 155, cooking down the freezer, pantry, and refrigerator. So if you haven't seen my first video in the series to see how packed my freezer was, give that video a little, a little view <laughs> because it's quite different than what it was now. And I didn't take a before picture. I should have. I should have taken a before picture that I could continue to post alongside the after picture. Well, maybe the next project. I'll remember to do that. Part of the problem is on my phone, I run out of memory if I don't continuously erase the old videos. And I've tried saving them on a on a card and all that but that's just too much problem so I figure they're saved on YouTube so um, we'll just have to go with that but yeah it's quite a bit of difference and I know it seems like this is just droning on and on but I do want to see how long it actually takes me because I think it's very interesting to see how little food that we actually consume as opposed to buying. I mean, it's just mind-blowing to me. This whole uh, experiment, for lack of a better term, has been such an eye-opener to me. So anyway, I'm so happy that I have all this food now because with the prices the way they are, it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know how some people are managed managing. I, I really don't. And I know there are food banks and if you need it, please, please go to your food bank and get yourself and your family some food because it is available. And if you're really struggling and you have a family, let them know because people love to help other people. Well, at least most people do. There are those that just like to help themselves, but that, that's not what this is about. Anyway, yeah, this has been a real experience. So, and another thing it's taught me is to be more self-reliant and not to rely on other people's business. If, if you go back in history, that's all people had the was themselves to be relying on. They grew their own food. They maybe bought flour at a store for a year or, you know, or when the weather was conducive to have them travel to the store. But I think we've lost so many of those skills in this modern day society. And I, I still think it's important that we know how to take care of ourselves. Because in the end, we are all we have, we and our family, so, and friends, and food banks. So please, if you need to, go get yourself some food at the food banks. Check into your grocery stores. I know here are uh, local Giant Eagles. They have um, boxes of food that you can buy really cheap on Markdown. Yeah, they're almost expired, but so what? If you have a freezer, you can stick them in the freezer or use them up. Or if a box of produce is too big for just you, share it with a friend or a family member, and uh, then it would be even less expensive. So anyway, um, I'm going to make some tea, too. I know it's not Tea Tuesday, but... I'm going to make this uh, decaf pumpkin spice for later this afternoon. And our heat actually was on this morning. So it's pretty chilly in the house. I don't know what it went down to, but it's supposed to go up to 67. And we're supposed to have a little rain, which we could actually use and would make my little plants outside extremely happy. So hopefully they're all still alive out there. I am concerned about Friday when the weather's going to go. It's going to take a 180 turn and go totally up to uh, 90 degrees. But uh, 
so we'll see what happens. All right, I will be back a little later with breakfast, and we'll see what else is brewing for the day. Time for breakfast, day 155. So let's see what's on the agenda here for today. Um, I have eggs and cheese. I still have lots of cheese. Let's see. I have this Havarti cheese that I haven't even opened yet. I bought that quite a while ago. So I think I will have that. I still have some Gouda cheese that I haven't opened. Uh, this is vegan cheese, Parmesan, the Vio Life. So I need to start using up some of this cheese. I have shredded cheeses. So lots of things. If you buy cheese, if you eat cheese, that is, and you buy cheeses and always have some basic cheeses on hand, like this is Italian blend and this is Mexican blend, you can make a lot of different dishes. So, you know, you can stick to basic cheeses. If you're short on money, invest your money in those. All right, so I'm going to have the Havarti. And then I still have two of these rolls that I got on discount at Walmart. So I'm going to have one of those. And I'm just going to have a hard roll with some cheese. I love that for breakfast. So I think that's what I'm going to have. And I will meet you at the stove. morning. All right, I decided to also to finish this blood orange. Now I got these on markdown um, with the flash food app at Giant Eagle. Now these were not very good. They were kind of dry and not very juicy, but this is the last one and I'm going to eat that. Then I toasted up my hard roll in the um, toaster oven, and I'm just going to top it with some, some Havarti cheese, and I like just a hard roll with cheese. So that's what I'm having for breakfast this morning. Not real exciting. I'm not cooking anything, but you can't always cook things. So. Keeping basic things on hand, like if you like hard rolls, then keep hard rolls on, on hand. If you like certain cheeses, keep those on hand. See, it's pretty dry, but I'm still going to eat it. And then all I have left is uh, two apples, and I have frozen fruit that I want to eat. I'm not a huge fruit eater, but I do like to eat fruit now and then. So in the oven, I have a treat for this afternoon. I got this at Costco quite a while ago, and it's vegan. So you can even eat the dough, just plain. But this is a pretty big tub, and I've... I've made cookies out of it before, and I've hardly made a dent in it. So, um, that's what I'm making for this afternoon with my cup of tea or coffee, whatever I feel like eating. So, anyway, this is my plain and simple breakfast for day 155. Blood orange. A hard roll with cheese and uh, that's it all right I'll be back in a little bit and we'll see what else right, is going so on this morning I'm taking the opportunity since the weather is it's cool I could do a little work outside but my kitchen is such a mess that I'm taking 
the opportunity this morning anyway of doing a little bit of cleaning up and rearranging the things that fell off the wall. So I'm kind of just taking a chill day to do that and I'm filling out my my bloom page. I've been doing that every day. I kind of enjoy that. And most of the things on the list I get done, but never all of the things. So I made the cookies, the vegan cookies, and I just had breakfast. So they look good. And it says to take a teaspoon and you know, like a ball, and just put it on the cookie sheet. So they do spread a lot, and I, could, I made these on parchment paper, but I wanted to give them a taste to see if they're any good. Mm. So they're crunchy outside. I'm very soft on the inside which is just how I like them. Great with coffee. So I thought I'd try one now and then later on I'll have one with another cup of coffee. So we were talking a little bit about saving money on food and I find for me anyway the easiest way to do that is to buy the Flash App veggies. Now you have to be flexible. And that's one of the, the, the criteria of saving money with food is to be flexible and to make your menu around what you can get cheap. Not the other way around, you know, oh, this recipe is great, and then you go run out and buy all the food to make the recipe. Now, sometimes that's okay, but um, in my opinion, if you shop that way, you end up spending more money on food because you don't get the markdowns, you don't get the sales. So, um, that's one way, anyway, that I save on food. And I've been spending very little on food the last several months because of that. Another thing is to stock up on basics. Basic foods you like. You know, if you don't like beans, don't stock up on beans just because they last a long time. Keep a very basic stock of things that you use all the time and then <clears throat> find recipes that are basic that you can mix and match where if you have leftovers you can combine your leftovers and make something else like, <laughs> like the bean burger I had that's finally gone. Um, so I find that those two things, you know, buying things on Markdown and making your menu around the food you have, not making, um, not buying the food you have around the menu you want. For me, that doesn't work, you know, where um, Monday I do this, Tuesday I have that, Wednesday I have that. And that kind of meal planning doesn't work for me. And I, I honestly think unless you meal plan that way through the sale ads, that might work. But that doesn't work for me because I don't know what I feel like eating on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. But I know if I have a big stash of basic foods that I like, I can say, okay, today I'm in the mood for spaghetti because I have spaghetti sauce stashed. I have, um, you know, if you eat meat, you have ground meat, ground sausage. I have the uh, vegan versions of those. So I can make a sausage and mushroom 
uh, tomato sauce, um, and then, you know, make the pasta, and then keep your basic cheeses, like Italian blend or um, Parmesan, you know, the very basic things that you can mix and match. Now, if I say, okay, today I'm in the mood for Mexican, I'll have beans, and I'll have rice, and I'll have whatever random veggies I have in my veggie drawer. I always have um, tortillas on hand, and if not, they're very easy to make. So you can have the flour on hand and the oil and the water. So I can have Mexican anytime I want. You know, the spices too, I keep those spices for Italian, I keep the spices for Mexican, and then you can take your basic ingredients and mix and match them to whatever flavor that you have in mind. And saving veggie scraps, um, you know, whatever vegetable you have, you can save potato peels. I wouldn't save too many of those because you don't want... Um, those can tend to make a broth a little bitter if you put too much in. But I save all my onion peels, anything um, anything that's edible, I put in my freezer veggie, um, veggie broth stash. So that's a good way to save money because there again, you can make a soup with pasta, you can make a soup with rice, you can make a soup with potatoes and uh, root vegetables. Uh, so basics, mix and match. You can make just about anything. And you don't need a lot of really weird ingredients uh, because you already have them in your stash. So anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about saving money on food. And I think it's really, really important when I see the cost of groceries, I could just fall over. But uh, I'm doing okay, you know, and I hope you're doing okay too. And like I said before, if you're not doing okay, don't be too proud to use the food bank. That's what they're there for. That food, if it's not used, will just get thrown away. So um, it's better to be in, in your stomach or your family's stomach than in a, in a landfill somewhere. All right, I'm going to finish my cookie and my coffee and making my list on my little bloom sheet. And then I'm going to carry on with my kitchen and try and make it a little bit more habitable. All right, I'll be back Great later. Mine's outside, and my Meyer lemon is outside now. Um, so I still have to plant these t uh, potatoes, but everything else is looking pretty good. I have to rearrange all these wind chimes and flowers. I just have stuff hanging everywhere, but I love my wind chimes. <laughs> Still have lots of tomatoes. Of course, I'm not going to plant them all, but I, I'll plant a few more. So I just wanted to come out here real quick and show you what I got planted because it's starting to drizzle. So... <laughs> Look how tiny they are. So I've got some very, very tiny little plants all going here, but they'll grow fast. In fact, they've grown quite a bit since I planted them. So in here I have cabbage and I have um, chard in here too. Here I have a red mini pepper. And this is broccoli and chard and more chard and broccoli. That's in all of those. Over here I planted cherry tomatoes and cabbage and more tomatoes and cabbage. 
and tomato and chard and over here more tomato and then I planted a bunch of little teeny tiny kales in here you can hardly see them but I figured they'd fare better here than in a pot and these are, are in, in the little cells and these are two eggplants I rescued a strawberry from uh, a random container and I have strawberries down here too because I had strawberries here but I won't get any strawberries because the chipmunks will eat them that's why I like my little hanging pot and uh, bandits here helping me garden he's just standing in the pot what you can't find anything to eat in there I'm sorry about that so here I have some I think they're radishes but I'm not sure they were volunteers and I get radishes and beets confused and then my peppers I planted so and then here are more peppers I need to plant but that's what I got done so far so all in all if the Sun doesn't fry them on Friday uh, it should be okay Right, Chloe? No, you're not going in the garden. No garden for you. Okay, she doesn't like to move. She just stands there. All right, so it's looking better. Not quite such a mess as it was early spring, but still needs a lot of work. Dinner, day 155. Let's see what we've got. Okay, I have all these veggies and these not chicken nuggets. I still have marinated onions. I have mustard coleslaw. Let's see. I have eggs. Two of those along with all this stuff. Um, I'm going to use up these follow your heart blue cheese things that have been hanging out here forever. Um, let's see. And I have some romaine here that I want to use up. So today for dinner I'm going to have a salad. All right, I'm going to get all this stuff out and meet you at the stove. I think I have some olives too. This is my last romaine lettuce and it's starting to get some brown on it, but the rest of it is still good. So I'm just going to cut that part off, and then I'm going to just cut up the whole head of lettuce and wash it and put it in a mason jar. So the rest is still perfectly nice. And my buddies want some, don't you? All right. Here we go. Some for you, some for you, and some for the worms. All right. So I'm going to cut up this, and I'm going to have some peppers. chicken nuggets and celery and I'm going to put all this together I think you guys know how to make a salad and I'll be back once I get it all done 
All right, let's take a walk over to my indoor lettuce and see what we can harvest there. So, oops, dropped my scissors. All right, I have to turn the camera around. my arugula. So I'm just going to take a couple of leaves from that. And then it can continue to grow. So there we go. And I'm not going to take any kale yet. Well, I might take one. Take one of these kale leaves. And then let's go over to my arrow garden. And let's see what we can harvest here. All right, let's see. We have some nice leaves here that we can harvest. And this is red romaine. So I can actually harvest quite a bit from this. And this is more arugula. some of that too because it's getting overgrown and just take these outside leaves and this will be a cut and come again type of thing well I'm excited about this I think I'm going to take this one too. This one's not good. This one's not good. So there we go. Take one more arugula. And look at my little tomato plants. This has two. One of them I have to take out. This is Tiny Tim, and I'm going to try and grow that in here. Look how tall this romaine is getting. I think I'm going to have to harvest more of it soon. I'll take one more leaf. Because it's getting too tall, this is as high as this goes. All right, well, let's go make a salad. Okay, so this is everything that I harvested from my little Ambiano garden. So that's definitely enough to make a salad. So I'm going to wash these along with my other romaine and that's plenty for at least a couple salads. All right, I will be back. All right, before I add it to a salad, I want to taste my red romaine. Give that a taste. Mmm. Very buttery. Not bitter at all. Very good. Can't get much fresher than that. Let me try the arugula. Now arugula is a little peppery anyway, so let me try it. definitely peppery. That adds a nice kick. I wouldn't want to eat a whole salad of this because this is really, really peppery. All right, so that was a fun experiment to grow my own. I'll be back. I'm going to add some of these crispy beets. And also some of these cheese and garlic croutons. So this is a pretty substantial salad. It has the chicken nuggets. 
olives, a couple of eggs, my pickled onions, I use those up. Um, lettuce, of course, peppers. Um, celery. And that's that. So I think that looks pretty darn good. Alright, I'm going to eat my dinner and I'll be right. back. Just having an evening cup of tea and no outdoors today. It was pretty darn chilly. So tomorrow is going to be warm and then we have a couple of really hot days coming up. So we'll see what happens. This weather is crazy. It's all over the place. Alright, well, that was a very good salad. I used up more the last of my produce except for two apples. And um, I got my money's worth. Alright, well, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.